oh, don't, <laughs> don't, don't swat a fly and don't swash a spider. You don't need to do that. And just think about how interesting they are. And maybe just look at them. I think, I think we can, I think it, I really do think it enriches our lives to, to, to look at them and to pay attention to them, not think, not just act as if they're not there in the world, they're not around us. Um, they're really fascinating, fascinating animals. And they're, they're just, yeah, they're just really, really interesting. And paying attention to, to something small and looking at their, looking at what they're doing and trying to think about what their lives are like and how they're moving through the world, I think is, is a really, um, is a really enriching thing. One, one of the things that, that I've learned from doing this book um, that's really stayed with me is, is that we, you know, we live in our world that is, you know, the real world to us and that is completely, you know, we feel, think it's the objective reality that, that we have and it is our objective reality. But, you know, other animals, and it's very clear with insects, they have a completely different sense of time, for instance you know, a completely different sense of space. They see the world really differently. Their visual sense senses are completely different. Their hearing, if they have it, is completely different. You know, they pick up vibrations, say, and, and we don't really. So, they're, um, so the world they move in is actually, it, it's actually a completely different world. It's not just that they see it differently. It, it is just a completely different world that they're in. So, you know, when we go to spot a fly, unless we've got a fly spotter, you know, you know, and, we're, and we go like this to a fly because, because time moves in a completely different way for a fly. It's very easy for them to get out of the way, apart from the fact their vision so much better, you know, because our, our arm is moving so incredibly slowly. They have endless time, you know, to do that. So, you know, to me this stuff is really interesting. You know, the, the, there are just these, you know, we live in the midst of multiple worlds, really. And the one we're in is the one we're in, and that's the one we live in. But there are endless numbers, I mean, probably an infinite number of them. That, that are also here around us, but we're just not aware of in any way at all. Everything we've, everything we've built and everything we've, everything we do changes, changes, changes the world for all its inhabitants. You know, our lives are all so entangled right now. You know, we're, you know, there's no, there's not really any separation between us and, us and animals or us and objects. You know, we're all, we're all part of each other now. So, yeah, I don't really know how to answer that except that, you know, they, they, you know, we all condition each other's lives. It's just that we really have the, we have more of an ability to do that than any other, any other being, I suppose. We're just very, very powerful. And one of the things about, about the category of insects is that it's so enormously broad. You know, there are, you know, millions of species and just, you know, billions of individual animals. So, some of them are more adaptive, some of them are very, very sensitive because they have these, you know, incredibly specific um, niches that they live in. And so if, if that's disrupted in some way, then they're just, you know, they're sunk really. But some of them, you know, particularly, you know, the ones that we're really familiar with, like flies and, and roaches, are just phenomenally adaptable. And they've adapted to us. So they've, you know, They've they've become con companion species to us, and they figured out how to how to make the most of living with us. And they're they're probably better. Oh, they're obviously way better at living with us than we are living with them because we spend our time trying to get rid of them, and they spend their time trying to make the most of us. You know, so so yeah, they're pretty adaptable. <laughs>